Sometimes the blade is there to guard those boundaries. Here's my license. Why don't you come and get it? Drop the knife. Fuck you. We live in a world of ever-increasing knife violence. And while some of us have mastered the art of defending ourselves against edged weapons, others are relying on body armor to protect us. But do they really work? We live in a society. There is knife crime. Now I've heard from some people who do work in security, mostly doormen, that a lot of them have gone for the option of the knife proof vest here. So I took it upon myself to purchase one purely out of curiosity to see if they actually work. So we're going to try this out today. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to wreck it or if this is going to be some product I'm going to keep and possibly use depending on how society things get. But anyway, I went for the cheapest option. This is only $29 on eBay. That's 29 Australian buckaroos. And quite frankly, all the ones in the $100, under $100 price range look like they're the same product. So we're going to try this out today and basically find out, does it work? Will one of these keep you safe out there on the mean streets? Alright, let's look at some features of this before we put it to the test. Now, you obviously have some adjustable shoulder straps, but you also have these large pockets. One on the back and uh, one on the front here that opens up underneath. What's inside these pockets? Foam pads. They come with it. Now you can buy extra plates for reinforcement on the front and back as an optional extra. Now, I didn't do this. Not only because I'm cheap, but also because this product is supposed to work as is. If you have to spend more money buying the plates and it won't work without them, then it doesn't work. Also, if the plates are what's really stopping the knives, then you might as well just buy the plates and sew them into regular clothing. So, uh, yeah, let's try it on. There's two flaps across the front. So, tighten it up, suck the old gut in. I hope I don't have one. And there we are. It's actually quite slim in. From the pictures on eBay, I was expecting a bit more bulky. To look kind of like, I don't know, a SWAT team type vest or something, but they stop bullets. We're not even sure if this is going to stop a knife, but you could wear this under regular clothes, and I don't think, especially if you've got a jacket on or a jumper, a sweatshirt, they would be noticeable. So, yeah, the one gripe I have about the fit is that, like, an uppercut to your gut, like someone stabbing you, is possibly going to get through, but at that point, I mean, how much that we expect in it to cover. Well, as you can see, I've arranged the selection of edged weapons that this vest must survive. Now, to make it fair and give the vest the best possible chance to work, we're gonna go from slow to full on. We're gonna start easy, stuff that's easily gonna be defended, I'd expect, to what I think might actually cause failure in it. This is quite a selection and we're gonna hopefully get through them all. Thank you, my kid. What are you doing? No, 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 we're not testing it on me. The gentleman who invented the bulletproof vest actually stood there and took a shot from someone to prove it worked. He had a lot of faith in his invention. This come from some Chinese seller on eBay. So no, I'm not gonna wear it when we test it out. So put the knife down, kid. Alright, let's get to it. Like I said, we're starting from easy and then going to difficult. Scissors, test one. Stabbed by someone, unfortunately not so strong at the moment. Now, you might say, oh, is this a realistic scenario? Well, what if you're a teacher in a particularly shitty area and you tell little Timmy in the back row to stop sniffing that glue and he comes at you with a pair of scissors? Now we're going to find out if this is worth wearing to school if you're a teacher. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. I wonder if it's done anything. No. 
It scissors. passed. Scissors when stabbed by a crazed kid. Do not penetrate. Let's see if I can get it to work. Just one, moderately. No, didn't penetrate. All right, test two, stab in with a screwdriver. This might seem pointless, but in real life, a lot of people actually stab with these on the streets because you can take one around and it's technically not a weapon, although these are perfectly capable of stabbing someone. Let's see how it goes. Try and stab the double layer, see how it goes. Right. That's literally just scratching the surface. Here where the strap is obviously that's a good the sweet spot for someone coming at you. You have triple layers. Let's try it. Oh I think that one. No, it's denting the cardboard body frame I made, but that is not actually penetrating. Okay, I guess that's a pass for the screwdriver. Approval. Let's keep going. All right, so far the vest has kept us safe from two common household items and being stabbed in the gut. Now, we're not gonna go straight into stabbing with knives quite yet because I feel slashing is less of a chance of actually penetrating the vest. So we're gonna try a few slashes just to see how that goes before we do stuff that might possibly wreck it. Now, the first knife we're gonna cut it with, a meat cleaver. You never know when someone's going to come at you with a meat cleaver. Yeah. We should try a different alley. What do you say? Are you even trying? Yes. <laughs> All right, give that a go. All right, let's see how it goes. This is actually quite sharp. Stand back. I'll cook with her. Oh no! Oh right. no! Unfortunately, that has sliced straight through it. No! Not through the triple layer, but up here. Ouch. All right, well, I guess that's a bit of a fail, but we're going to keep going anyway until it's fully used up. All right, let's go on to a classic, a Bowie knife. We'll do a few slashing attacks and we'll see how we go. Okay. Oh, oh, no. No. All right. Wow. That's gone the whole way through. So is that. The double layer is keeping it safe. However, that literally is only, what, four inches, 10 centimeters for us who live in a civilized metric world of your stomach. Yeah. Slashing attacks are actually working a lot more effectively than I imagined they would. I thought that literally, since it's a, such a large area you're trying to cut through that it would totally not be a problem. I thought stabbing would be the one that would break it, but I guess you never know until you try. Alright, we're going to do one more slashing test. So far it hasn't performed well, but here we are, we've got to do it anyway. Now we're going to use a classic machete for this one. Now what this lacks in sharpness, it definitely makes up for in power. Let's see how we go. Whoa. Okay, those machete cuts got through, oh, didn't quite get through the first layer there, but right across the gut it got through. All right, we'll move on. All right, I think that's enough slashing for one day. Now, in defense of this product, while it has gone through, which I wasn't expecting, I was expecting the blades to slide across and do minimal damage. 
if you were wearing this and someone was coming at you, they would be very minor wounds under the actual vest. Like, as you can see here, there's very little penetration from the actual slashes. So I think you'd literally just have small, very surface layer cuts. So, in theory, a stance job against slashes, even though it's taken damage, which I wasn't expecting. So we're going to move on to stabbings, the real test. And what better way to start than the classic punk stiletto. Let's see how it goes against the vest. All right, I'll try first on the topper. Ooh. Okay, I didn't put much into that and it went completely through. I mean, that is pretty bad. I'm just literally... Okay, let's try the triple layer. Again, holy shit. That's gone a full inch in. And I'm not really, I'm not putting anything onto it. Okay, this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. How about just go have a try? Hey, just go. Let's see how easily a little kid brandishing a knife, not uncommon in society these days, can go. All right. Still getting through. <laughs> okay, that's enough. Wow, okay, that's a pretty dramatic failure, but we're gonna keep going. It's not looking good for the vest, especially not now. We're gonna try your standard kitchen knife. Now, this is obviously what a lot of people are stabbed with simply because you go to Kmart, this is like five bucks. And like you literally see in all the videos if you're on the live links, although I'm not sure that's up anymore. They're mostly people doing the stabbings using these, so we'll give it a try. Mm. Alright, I'll try one straight through. Triple layer. Over here there is nothing, so that's where I'm gonna aim. That's seriously bad. I'm not putting much into it and that much got through. This time I'll actually put a tiny bit more strength into it and see just how far I can go. Alright. That would not be very comfortable at all. Ooh. I'm thinking it even went into the old post there. <laughs> That's a bit of a fail, yeah, but I think we have to go at least one more. Alright, now for the ultimate test. I thought this was going to be the grand finale. I hoped it would last long enough that we got to here and saw, alright, let's see if we can really break it. Unfortunately, my cheap stiletto went through first try, as did the Kmart's finest uh, fish knife. So, um, I guess I thought this would be the ultimate test. A bayonet. This is a uh, AK-47 bayonet from Mother Russia. Obviously, it's made by the military. It's hard. It's very sharp. It's it's literally made to stab people. This isn't like one of those sort of like even the stilettos and pocket knives and stuff like that are really just for show. This is the real deal. And I thought this would be the final test. However, I don't think this is going to have a problem, but we'll do it anyway, just for fun at this point. Don't kill me. All right, kill. Go right here, that is not damaged at all, triple layered. We're gonna see if a child can even do it with this. No. <laughs> Are you trying? Stand back and take a proper thrust. Yep. Go. Okay, so um, if the army's recruiting kids and they come out with their bane, this will be up to task, but let's see how it goes against a, an adult with a little bit of strength. Okay, straight through. I'm not putting much into it, and it's just going straight through. Again, straight through, casually. How you going, buddy? Give me a wallet. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, straight through. Uh, let's see if we can get all the way through. Oh my god! 
Oh, it did. It penetrated at least one layer of the back. My God, gosh. Oh, okay. I guess we've uh, pushed it well beyond its limit and um, I'm calling it here for the testing for one day. Yeah. Well, I guess they died. Indeed. To be all quite honest, I think the cardboard is actually putting up more resistance than the vest itself. Now, I don't know what I was expecting for 29 bucks off eBay, however, pretty much all the knife proof vests up until like 100 200 dollars all appear to be the same product and they don't work i mean i think we've proven today that they really don't work well at all a leather jacket would probably give you equal protection in all reality so uh there you have it i would not trust your life on one of these at all um it's better than nothing but not by much. The back of the vest is still intact, so I think we'll recycle that and have some fun with that in a, another video, I'd imagine. So for now, goodbye, Govidinga, enjoy your evening. And yeah, you're gonna have to work on those skills to defend yourself against the knife because the knife proof vest just will not do it at all.